It's about 624 right now. There are concerning allegations this morning against some of the world's top athletes, including some that ran in the Boston Marathon. Our John Keller takes a closer look at the bigger implications of the scandal. Reports out of Europe that 32 medal winners at the top marathons in the world, including Boston, have registered suspicious results in post-race blood testing come as a real disappointment, especially, I'm sure, to the dedicated people behind the Boston Marathon who take pride in their event, not to mention the thousands of runners who compete within the rules. But it shouldn't come as a surprise that some people would try to cheat the system. If it can happen in youth sports when some little league lies about his age, it'll surely happen when serious money's involved. There are reports that the runners with questionable test results won close to five million bucks in prize money. And for some people, there doesn't even need to be an immediate cash reward as incentive to grab for an illegal edge. More than 5% of the blood samples taken from 5,000 Olympic and World Championship endurance event athletes were recently found to show evidence of doping. Experts believe up to a third of all medalists in those international events over a decade were won by juiced up athletes. Look, we expect elbows to get sharp and advantages to be relentlessly sought after in business, politics, or grabbing that last seat on the, red, on the green line. We expect it in certain sports, but the marathons and the Olympics, maybe they should just give up and say to the cheaters, okay, if you want to juice up, go ahead, but tell us upfront so you can have a scarlet letter pinned to your jersey. And we'll let the public decide if you're the one they want to honor at the finish line.